Hey guys, my name is Logan with Match Grade Machine, and in today's video, we're going to compare the 460 Smith and Wesson, 444 Marlin, 450 Bushmaster, and the 4570 Government. We're going to start out with the 460 Smith and Wesson Magnum. This one uses 451 projectiles. There are a few rifle bullets available for it. It has a 1.790 case length. The 460 has the highest velocities out of this group, but is also the most destructive to components on your rifle. We did velocity testing from 13 inch to 27 inch, and our velocities gathered were 2720 at 13 inches and 2970 at 27 inches, using factory 200 grain ammo. That is a 250 foot per second spread from 13 to 27. We suggest a 24 inch barrel length in the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Here is a velocity chart of the different loads that we tried at each barrel length that we used. Up next is the 444 Marlin. It uses 429 projectiles. Again, there are a few rifle bullets available. This one has a 2.215 case length. Rifle ammo is available. Pistol bullets do not handle the velocities of the Marlin. From 27 inches, we got 2350 feet per second. From 13 inches, 2070 feet a second using factory 265 grain ammo. We got a 280 feet per second spread from 13 to 27 inches. We suggest a 23 inch barrel length for the 444 Marlin. Here's the velocity chart showing the different types of ammo we used. That clip we just saw was using the 450 Bushmaster. This one uses 451 projectiles. This has the best performance with rifle bullets, has a 1.690 case length, and was designed for rifles, which means it has good factory ammo available for rifle length barrels. At 27 inches, we got 2,350 feet per second. At 13 inches, we had 2,180 feet per second using factory 250 grain ammo. That's 170 foot per second spread from 13 to 27. We suggest a 19 inch barrel length, which is the shortest suggested barrel length of all of these cartridges, You're getting a lot of performance out of that length. As you can see here, the velocities plateau off around 19 inches. Up next is our 4570. This one shoots the largest projectiles at .458. It also has the slowest velocities of the bunch with a 2.100 case length. The 4570 shoots the heaviest projectiles available with the most readily available ammo. At 27 inches, we're only getting 2,020 feet a second. At 13 inches, we're getting 1,750 using factory 325 grain ammo. That's a 270 foot per second spread. We suggest a 23 inch barrel length to get good performance. As you look at this velocity graph, it's a steady increase across the spectrum. Overall, the 450 Bushmaster has tons of punch for its size and the length of barrel that we suggest. The 460 Smith & Wesson is going to get you the highest velocities and the most energy down range. The 444 Marlin falls in between those two, but it has a longer overall case length. The 4570 is the tried and true and has the most available ammunition out of all of these cartridges. Depending on your state's laws, you will have to look into case lengths with straight wall cartridges that are allowed, but out of these 45 cal rifles, the 450 Bushmaster is among our favorites. We greatly appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this got you some rock solid information. Thanks again for watching guys. We will see you in the next one.